Suppose we toss a coin 100 times and get 85 heads and 15 tails. What's your guess for the next toss? Some people may say heads, because 85 out of the last 100 tosses have come up heads, so it seems that heads are on a roll. Other people, though, may guess tails, in the belief that there must be more tails coming up to redress the balance. Both guesses are based on a misconception that's known as the gambler's fallacy. In reality, there's always a 50% chance of getting heads and 50% of getting tails. These odds aren't affected by previous events. Even if we tossed a coin 10,000 times and all the results were heads, it wouldn't change the odds of heads turning up next time as well. The gambler's fallacy comes about because we have a tendency to think that past events which are actually completely independent of one another somehow affect future events. Our brains are very good at detecting patterns, which we then use in decision making. But this ability to see patterns can lead us astray when the patterns aren't relevant to what will happen next. The gambler's fallacy is a classic case of this faulty reasoning, and it can occur in many situations in real life. The name comes about because of a famous incident that happened at Monte Carlo Casino in 1913. At a roulette table, the ball fell on black 26 times in a row. The odds of that happening are about 67 million to 1. During the long run of blacks, gamblers lost millions of francs betting on red in the belief that the ball surely couldn't land on yet another black. Whether we're placing a bet or find ourselves in other situations where previous results have no bearing on what will happen next, we should keep the gambler's fallacy in mind.